Beginners are always asking me the things that they can do to get started, to begin their education, to just start venturing into this industry. And I think without a doubt, one of the single most important things that you can do is exactly what I did and what a lot of um, my fellow voice actors have done. Turn yourself into a big freaking VO dork. I mean that literally. We're obsessed with this industry in a way that is slightly psychotic, definitely fanatical, <laughs> and a little bit overboard. Um, but that's kind of what it has to be. There's a few things on this that are really important. Number one is I'm always kind of stunned when I have some new student who's, you know, yeah, relatively new to the industry and who's just getting on mic for the first time. But when I start asking them about who their voiceover heroes are and I start referencing current commercials that are being aired and pop culture references and certain celebrities or actors, they kind of look at me like they have no idea what I'm talking about. It's the blink, blink face. Blink, 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 blink. And <laughs> while it's cute, <laughs> I'm always amazed. How is that possible? If you want to be in this industry, you have to be a student of this industry. You got to study it. You got to know it. You've got to love it, live it, breathe it every single day. We do all kinds of crazy research. Voice actors are not the people in their household that when they are um, watching TV with the family, we don't fast forward past the commercials. We stop and watch them. Um, we love the ads that are on YouTube and other interactive media because it's a chance for us to absorb some of what's happening in our industry. We follow other actors, specifically voiceover actors, and it's just critical that you know what's current and what's going on in the industry. The other thing is know who your heroes are. Every industry and in every profession, people have um, those who came before them and the people that they look up to. You've got to know your heroes. When I was coming up and I was in radio, Randy Thomas was my personal god. <laughs> I knew everything that this woman was up to. I followed her. I, I, I was like a little stalker in every way that I could. And mind you, this was like in the early days of the internet, so it wasn't the easiest thing to do. Anyone who I met that just so happened to know Randy, I would try to suck as much information out of them as I could about her, just in the interest of learning more about the kinds of things that she did to be successful. You've got to know um, your specific heroes in the industry. Mine um, were guys like Brian James and Chris Corley, who I now get a chance to work with on various radio imaging contracts around the country. Um, Randy, of course, but um, who are yours? You need to know who these folks are. Um, to me, it's critical that you have an understanding of folks like Rodney Salisbury, because the reality is, if not for guys like Rodney, there would be no Zurich, there would be no Jay DeLay, there would be no Dave Finoy, because he was a pioneer. He came first. And he paved the way for that new generation. Don LaFontaine obviously paved the way for many, many careers in voiceover. Um, E.G. Daly, Tasia Valenza, you got to know them. Now, my personal heroes in the industry aren't necessarily going to be yours, and that's perfectly fine. But who are yours? Um, follow those cartoons that you loved as a kid. Um, obviously, lots and lots of people reference Mel Blanc because he was so influential to so many in um, becoming interested in this profession and wanting to be a voiceover actor. But know those heroes. Know who they are. A lot of people today um, reference Rob Paulson because his work on things like Animaniacs and um, Pinky and the Brain and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles influenced so many um, folks in the uh, 90s. Do your homework. Do your research. Know who these people are and study them, stalk them, follow them. And guess what? In today's market, thanks to the beauty of the Internet and how incredibly open this industry is, meet them talk to them. Send them an email. I guarantee you, chances are pretty good they'll write you back and they'll engage you in a conversation. If nothing else, friend them on Facebook and try to start some dialogue that way. It's really, really important to know your hero.